skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to the final lesson of how to write in Arabesh. So today we are learning complete sen sentences, since you guys now know punctuations, and you guys know the combined letters. So um, we're just going to kind of write some basic sentences, and then I'm sure you guys will eventually get the hang of it. So we'll take a normal sentence like my name is. So we're going to, I'm going to do my name is Disney Queen Skelly. Okay, so my name is Disney Queen Skelly, which is going to look like this. And then um, after we do this, we're going to do a couple of sentences. What am I going to do? We're going to do, a, we're going to do one statement, one question, one exclamation, We'll just try and do a little bit of everything, and I'll try and include a lot of the little things as I can. So my name is Disney Queen Skelly. So this will be our first statement with a period. Okay, okay. So it's going to look a little something like this. M Y N A M E space I S space D I S N E Y Q U E N N space S K a L L Y and don't forget the period which is gonna go right here ta-da my name is Disney Queen Skelly I'm sorry I didn't type a period in the actual typed out question so that is how you would do a regular statement. So now we're going to do a question and I'm going to include the quotation marks. So we're, we're not going to pull this quote from like a movie or anything. We're just going to be hypothetical with this. So let's, so let's do the eraser. Erase, 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 erase. Oh, I erased the text too. That's pretty cool. Okay. We are going to write out the sentence. Let's see. So let's put a quote. The question. So this sentence is going to be, we'll just do the basic, what's your name? And what's great about this is we're actually using the, ex we're using the um, apostrophe, which I don't think we learned an apostrophe. Well, I guess we kind of did because of the quotes that were not two quotes, but they were like one quote, if that makes any sense. So we'll just use that. Okay. So what's your name? We'll go back to brushes and get the pen out. Okay. So what's your name would look like this. So if you guys remember, so there we go. So it's W H A T Alright, and if you guys remember that little apostrophe is a little tick down and over S space Y O U R space N A M E 
All right, now our question mark, if you guys remember, looks like this, up and around. And then we're going to put our final quotation mark right there. And that is how you write, what's your name? Now, finally, we are going to do an exclamation question, or not question, an exclamation statement. So this one, we are going to include parentheses, and we are going to include a double letter. We're going to do, let's see if I can kind of come up with something off the top of my head. So an exclamation with parentheses and a double letter. Oh, this one's kind of mean, but we can do you look amazing, not really. <laughs> okay, so this will include the double O, which you guys know is a separate um, letter in of its own. So we're going to go to the brushes and go back to the pen. So, oh, I forgot the exclamation mark. We're going to put it after amazing, okay? We're going to, let me just kind of put that in for myself. You look amazing. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go back down here and let's get started. So, why? O U space L double O which looks like this K space A M A Z I N G Okay, you guys know what I'm trying to attempt here. <laughs> okay, and then our exclamation mark, which if you guys remember looks like this. And now our parentheses statement, which remember parentheses look like this. That's the one going to the left. N O. There we go. T space R E A. Now there is no um, one letter for double L, so you're gonna have to do double L, Y, and then close parentheses. And that is it for the final Arabesh lesson. I thank y'all so much for joining me. The next language I will be teaching you guys is Tantalog from Lilo and Stitch. That one should hopefully be a little easier because all it involves is typing, which is fantastic. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I hope you guys practice on your own, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye little skeletons, stay safe, and I love you guys.